Since midnight Monday, much-needed repairs were being done at the Demerara Harbor Bridge, the massive floating structure that connects regions 3 and 4 and facilitates thousands of commuters every day. Bridge repairs were needed after a Panamanian vessel crashed into the bridge last year, rendering it inoperable for several days. The recent repairs this week were at Span 9 and it was projected that it would take three days to replace that span. However, as early as Tuesday morning, the repairs were ahead of schedule. And on Thursday morning, Public Works Minister Juan Edgel said the bridge would be open at 18 hours Thursday instead of at midnight. We have completed our task and we'll be opening the bridge six hours ahead of schedule. So in as much as we gained that advantage on the first day, the men did not um, slowly approach it. They kept the same momentum and we were able to maintain that um, time ahead. To ensure that the bridge was reopened by 18 hours, several checks were done throughout the day. 11.30 to 1.30 latest, we will have another retraction. We will allow marine traffic four in, two out. And we are doing all of the fine tuning in, in the language of the technical people. The little things here and the little things there. And we are anticipating that by 6 p.m. this evening, the bridge will be fully colored traffic. There have been queries if that would mean that so persons can start getting themselves ready and adjusted for a 6 p.m. opening of the bridge. For the last few days, several alternative travel systems were instituted and were working well. The alternative systems include the usual speedboat crossing from Breeden Hoop to Stabrook Market and new river crossings at Wales to Grove and from the eastern to western sides of the Harbour Bridge. Reporting for the newsroom, Fishani Ragabir.